A major development happening right now with Jacksonville's Cure Violence program. A number of workers are going into the streets in the next hour to learn how to engage with communities to stop violence. Many of these people are ex-offenders. News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joining us live from Northwest Jacksonville. This is in a neighborhood where, Scott, as I understand it, bullets were flying around just last night. They were last night. There was a shooting out here at Portsmouth in Sibald. And I want to show you a map, Kent, that shows a little what this means, because within three minutes after this shooting, there was another shooting unrelated, not too far away at New Kings Road. This is just a microcosm of the violence issues in Jacksonville that cure violence is designed to stop. Tonight, there is training for workers in this program. Tonight, what are referred to as peacemakers will hit the streets in neighborhoods like these to work with the community and develop relationships so the city and police have an idea of what it will take to stop violence in the city. This is part of Mayor Curry's initiative called Cure Violence. I talked to some people near one of Jacksonville's latest shooting scenes who want progress. Do you think anything can be done or is it just this the way it is? I think something can be done, but I just don't know what. Go back to church. <laughs> I also talked to one group that has been engaging with at-risk neighborhoods for years about this program. That's Mad Dads. It tells me it's hard to get some neighborhoods to trust you for a number of reasons, like the, quote, no snitch culture. But Mad Dads tells me there's something else at play. Some of these men and young women that's doing some of these crimes are actually the breadwinners of the household. So you're also taking away their meal ticket, more or less, their income. So you have to, you know, some of the things they ask Mad Dad, well, if we turn him or her in, who's going to take care of us? And so these peacemakers with the Cure Violence program out in the streets right now, beginning their training for the June 8th rollout, when this program will really debut, they're going to have some video the city will provide us. We should have that a little later tonight. As soon as we do, we'll bring it to you on News for Jacks. For now, we're live in Northwest Jacksonville. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.